Welcome to Monday Morning Prayer as we remember St. Ansgar, Apostle of the North. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, a song of God's marvellous acts. I will sing a new hymn to my God. O Lord, you are great and marvellous. You are marvellous in your strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you. For you spoke and all things came to be. You sent out your spirit and it formed them. No one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who revere you, you still show mercy. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 74. It begins, O Lord our God, remember your congregation, whom you took to yourself of old, the people that you redeemed to be your own possession, and Mount Zion where you dwelt. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the psalm. Creator Spirit, Advocate, promised by our Lord Jesus, increase our faith and help us to walk in the light of your presence, to the glory of God the Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading this morning is from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the reading. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle a song of Isaiah. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Collect for Ansgar, missionary to Denmark and Sweden. We praise you, God, for Ansgar, who took the gospel to the Danes, and when they did not want it, to the Swedes, and then back to the Danes. So thousands heard the gospel from him and rejoiced. Give us patience and keep us from all discouragement. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
may wish to pause the video here to say intercessions, prayers and thanksgivings. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen. Say